Um, I am here with Brooke Lewis right now, and um, she is an actress. She's been in several different movies and television series. She is also a life coach and a motivational speaker. She does Miss Vampy, which is actually really cool. In fact, I wanted to tell you, um, I think, because I, I don't have any kids of my own, but I do have um, several nieces. And How old are they? They're, the oldest one right now is 14. Nice. And she's, she's struggling perfect. with a lot of body issues and things like that, and I when I saw what you had done with Miss Vampy, when I started kind of doing some research for myself and, you know, watching some of these things, um, the way that you do it with the humor and everything else that's kind of attached to it, I think is perfect to kind of break through those barriers a little bit and get them to open up faster. Thank you so much for saying that. And that was my goal and intention. You know, I always thought like, do tween and teen girls and even college girl women, you know, do they really want to sit and talk to a therapist in a chair somewhere that's, like, you know, judging, they feel judged and I'm all for right. therapy, but you know, that was my goal and intention was have some humor, have this caricature, but this wise old vampirist, mm. you know, and she's comedic. She's a Brooklyn vampire. Mm. And that was my goal. So thank you for acknowledging that because yeah. I'm glad that you, you agree. And yeah, I, I absolutely I do. You know, very, very amusing as well as being really informative and helpful for the girls. And thank I you. thought that it was, it was great. In fact, I, uh, I plan on showing my oldest niece, especially some of that stuff, because she's at that age right now where she's really struggling with the body issues. And, Absolutely. You know, all stuff, yeah, so. all the teenage girls do, and especially with me living in Hollywood. You know, women of all ages, I have clients of all ages, and, you know, as an actress, you're put through so much crap with constantly having to diet and constantly having to exercise and constantly having to be compared to, you know, the, the perfect women that we see in magazines. Right. and it's not true you know it's all airbrushed you're it's ridiculous mm -hmm. so we really i am a support for young women to not buy into the bs of you know the right. the media and the propaganda and you were saying during your your seminar here that uh there's a possibility of having a television series based on the Miss Vampy character, correct? We're in talks. We're in talks, as Ms. Vampy would say. Yeah, you know, we've gotten so much interest. It's amazing. I've had big executive producers, you know, contact us, my production company, and they're like, you know, this is like Elvira meets Oprah. Like, mm -hmm. you're the new, I'm like, bring it on. So <laughs> we are very in the starting stages. Um, there's another TV series that I'm, we're, We've been having several meetings with some executive producers that could be in development as well, not with Ms. Vampy, more with Brooke the Scream Queen being involved. Right. So it's it's good. It's all good. Well, that's that's awesome. Now, as far as uh, some of your other projects that you have coming up, is there anything that you want to talk about? Or are you just going the circuit right now and doing the life coach thing? And no, everything. I'm, I'm doing motivational speaking all over the country, and I'm super excited. No, I mean, things are going really well with acting again, thank goodness, which is my main heart, soul, and passion. I am heading out this week. I go to Michigan to do Mark Klebanoff's directing. He directed me, wonderful young director. He directed me in Break, the action film with Michael Madsen mm -hmm. and David Carradine. He directed me in Gerald, which was a dark comedy with Louis Mandalore from mm -hmm. A Big Fat Greek Wedding, and um, Mickey Rooney, Deb Thaker from all the Christopher Guest movies. It's such a cute, sweet, dark comedy. And he just hired me again as an actress to do a film called The Morning, and it's a sci-fi drama love story. I always add in love story. The guys don't, but yeah. it is. it has a love story in it, which I think women are going to go crazy for. Mm -hmm. And it's about life and love and friendship, and um, it's amazing, and it stars Michael Walton and uh, Judd Nelson okay. and Peter Dobson from Cover Me and Louis Mandalore's in it again and it, Larry Hankin, great character actor from all the sitcoms. So I'm shipping out, I'm flying back <laughs> and I'm actually flying back. I'm shooting a music video this week with Suze Lanier Bramlett and Michael Berriman from the original Hills yeah, Have Eyes, yeah. right? So Suze has a song coming out. Um, be careful what you wish for. You just might get it, if I'm not mistaken, is the title. It's great. And she's a dear, dear friend, so we're all doing her music video. Then okay. I pack and leave to go to Michigan to shoot the morning for 10 days. Okay. Well, yeah, so I'm great. excited. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like you've got a lot of stuff coming up. Got a lot fantastic. of stuff coming up. I am working with one of my best friends, a wonderful horror actor, Parrish Randall, in Texas. We're in development on a horror film. And uh, Neil Johnson's Alien Dawn just got released, which is kind of a crazy situation because I had mm -hmm. a huge role in it and it got cut down to nothing <laughs> um, they, I, you know whatever my scenes apparently are being moved into another trilogy which is called Tripod War I'm getting very into the sci-fi thing lately which is really fun and really cool 
you know. And whoever wants to hire you, right? A to- well, no, well, actually not. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, we're yeah. very picky. We're very picky. Um, I'm no, I'm, and you know that goes back to to making powerful choices. Mm-hmm. I've tried very hard in my career to keep it, you know, at a level and to make sure that I work with people with integrity mm-hmm. and great directors and great scripts. So, you know, um, so I pass on a lot of stuff too, mm-hmm. but. You know, as long as it's a great role and a great cast and a great script and a great director, I'm so happy to be in. Is there, uh, as far as, uh, before we wrap up here, is there anything as far as, like, websites or anything that you want to Love to. For? Please, please, please tell all the listeners to follow me on, uh, Brooke, well, brooklewis.com is my press site. Okay. And MsVampy.net has all the Ms. Vampy shows on it. And uh, Brooke Lewis LA on Twitter because I tweet a lot. Please tweet me. <laughs> and uh, what else? There's the official Brooke Lewis fan page on Facebook that okay. fans made, and I check it every day. I love it. I get so excited when I see people post things on pictures. And uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. So. Well, fantastic. Um, I look forward to uh, to seeing what you're going to be doing in the future. And Thank you. Know, you. I, I absolutely love the you know what you're doing with the motivational speaking and the life coaching as well. I think that's great. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate you saying that. And it's it's kind of new for me, and it's mm-hmm. exciting. And I went back to school and did the responsible thing. And um, I want to share everything. If I can share all the mistakes I made with, with women, yep. young women, so they don't make the same ones, hopefully, then I'm golden. But thank you guys so much for having me. Sure. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Thank you. Ah!